welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this pink smoky eye for you guys. I actually recently got this pigment from Inglot in the shade 119. I love Inglot Cosmetics and so I'm kind of branching out and wanting to buy more of their stuff because I think their stuff's really amazing in quality and I've always loved the Inglot gel liner in number 77. It's always been one of my favorites. So I definitely want to re branch out and get more Inglot products but for this video, I want to go ahead and share with you guys this look. It's a really beautiful pink glittery kind of pigmented <laughs> smoky eye. Um, I don't know yet what I'm going to call this, um, but I really love these kind of looks. They're always one of my favorites to do. I love doing smoky eyes and I love doing things with pigments and glitter, which I haven't done in a while here on my channel. So yeah, I think this is really fun and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments down below if there are any other videos you guys would like to see and I would definitely love to them for you so yeah I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in my next video bye all right so I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my skin as always you guys know I love the Kiehl's ultra facial moisturizer I also went ahead and primed my eyes off camera now we're gonna go ahead and start with shadow so first I'm going in with Blanc type by Mac we're just gonna go ahead and place this right underneath the brow for our brow bone highlight then I'm taking my uh, Sephora Pro palette I'm taking the shade all the way in the upper right just a little bit of this shadow not too much and placing this right in the transition being that we're gonna kind of do like a cut crease look I really want to make sure that the these colors that I place go a little bit higher than I normally would place them because when we go ahead and cut the crease you don't want to just place them you know normally like where you would normally put them right in the crease and things like that because you're just gonna cover it up later with a cream product so just making sure when you place these products down these shadows down just blend them up a little bit higher so I place this really warm color right into the crease again blending it up and then just going back with my big fluffy brush and blending that out I'm taking a touch of this orangey shade and just going right in between that crease color and the transition shade and it's going to make those colors just blend into each other a little bit more and just really complete the look I think. Then we're going to go ahead and take some scotch tape, rip it off and put it on the back of your hand to get off the stickiness and line it up with my lower lash line. I'm then going to go in with MAC Embark and this is going to go right in the outer corner. I really just wanted a dark brown and there really wasn't a really dark dark brown that Sephora palette so going in with Embark I'm gonna place that right in the outer corner and then I do blend it into the crease to really deepen up that crease again making sure that you bring this shadow just a little bit higher than you normally would then going back with my fluffy brush just going ahead and making sure you blend it know that this tutorial you will be blending the heck out of your shadows and your little wrist is gonna hurt okay that's all I'm gonna say Next, we're going to take a black shadow. Any black that you have will do. I'm starting to place this black shadow right into the outer corner of my eyes. You can see I'm taking my Sigma E45 brush just because it does come to a tapered tip and I just thought it was perfect. It's just, it's a perfect brush to do outer corner work. So then we're going to go ahead and take that black and blend it into our eye, kind of blending it into that outer V right there. I do take a blending brush just to make sure that it's nice and blended. You don't want any harsh lines. And now for the cut crease. Now I'm going in with this English gel liner in number 94 I'm taking my Mac 242 brush and this is the pigment that we're going in with that I talked about in the beginning of this tutorial it's so beautiful so we're gonna go ahead first and go in and use the Inglot gel liner I'm gonna go ahead and place this pretty much in the half like three quarters of my lid and as you can see right here this is where we're gonna go ahead and cut the crease with that line so I'm putting the gel liner of course down first this is gonna be our base and then when you are ready I'm gonna go ahead and place the pigment right on top I'm not applying any glitter glue or anything like that I'm just applying the pigment right on top of the gel liner and that's what's gonna really hold this pigment down and I just love the way it turned out and right back to blending so I'm gonna take this really small blending brush by Sigma I love this blending brush and going back with embark by Mac I'm gonna go back and forth back and forth and really blend that lid shade into the outer corner work that we did I'm also gonna blend it slightly into the crease just not much at all because you do want it to be like a cut crease look but just go back and forth back and forth I really edit out but believe me it took a little bit of time to go ahead and blend those colors together so just keep going back and forth then we're gonna go ahead and do a wing so I'm using my um, Maybelline gel liner in black is black I'm just gonna go ahead and create a wing my um, tip if you're doing a wing I mean I really love the way it turned out but if it was just me if I could redo it I would have just done like a half wing because I really 
be like I just didn't want to cover up too much of that pigment on the lid um, but yeah I, I would have just done a half wing but anyway moving on so now we're gonna go ahead and prime I'm using this dr. Brandt um, pr uh, this is like an illuminating primer I got it in my boxy charm a couple months ago and I've been really loving this primer so just gonna go ahead and apply this all over the face as you can see and then we're gonna go ahead and put glitter glue not glitter glue regular glue on our lashes and let them get tacky the lashes that we're gonna be using today are house of lashes boudoir for foundation I'm going in with my hourglass Va vanish foundation I'm just applying a couple little, little dashes or lines whatever you want to call it of that and then going in with my makeup forever foundation and then we're going to go ahead and blend these two colors together i've just been doing this little combination recently just because i love the hourglass foundation and we're just going to go ahead and just blend those together making sure you blend it down your neck and everything like that and bam there you go so now we're going to go ahead and apply our lashes like i said i'm using house of lashes in boudoir which are one of my favorites as always for concealer i'm going in with my la girl pro conceal oh sorry about that my la girl pro conceal in natural i'm just go ahead and just do kind of a triangle motion under my eyes as well as highlight the rest of my face using this concealer then going in with this concealer brush by Sigma I'm gonna go ahead and blend the concealer into the rest of my face so that there's no harsh lines or anything like that and then switching it to my 4d HD kabuki brush by Sigma and really get into that inner corner and making sure that you don't get any concealer on your wing <laughs> now we're going in with the RCMA no color powder I switched up here I don't know why I did this but I'm now going in with the Becca under eye brightening powder to set the under eyes so as you can see I set the under eyes and then I'm going back with the RCMA no color powder so I really don't know why I went all over the place with this but anyway moving on I'm just gonna go ahead and set my whole face with the RCMA no color powder and dust away all that excess powder from the under eyes for brows, I'm going in first with my Anastasia Brow Definer in Soft Brown just to go ahead and line the brows. And then I also am going to go ahead and fill in the tail of my brows with this brow definer just because the end of my tails are really, you know, the end of my brows, not tails, I don't have a tail, um, is really sparse. So then I'm going to go ahead and fill the rest of my brows in with the Sigma Brow Powder in Medium. For contour, I'm going in with my Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette. I'm just going to go ahead and contour the cheeks, forehead, and also the sides of my nose using this powder. It's one of my favorites. I actually switched to another one, so I'll use that in my next video because I always use the Kat Von D. For blush, I'm going in with Becca Sweet Pea, which is a really nice neutral blush. I didn't want to have too much color on the cheeks, being that the eyes are the real main focus of this look. So just really dusting a little bit of that blush on there. And then for highlight, I'm going in with the Artist Couture diamond glow powder in Illuminati and applying that right on top of the cheeks now back to finishing the eyes I'm going in with that brown color that we used before in the crease and I'm just gonna go back and forth back and forth and really blend it out then I am gonna go in with Mac embark on that little blending brush by Sigma again I will link all the brushes that I use down below for you guys so definitely check that out I do love this little blending brush it's really cute um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and blend embark from outer corner all the way to inner corner as well and then going in with just a little bit of black right in that outer corner just to kind of create that smokiness to find that outer corner of the lower lash line and bam for inner corner highlight I'm gonna go in with Mac nylon which is one of the most amazing inner corner highlights as you can see I'm also gonna apply a little bit right underneath the brow for my brow bone highlight just to make it pop a little bit since we did use a matte color before just applying a little bit of nylon and making sure it's nice and blended out on the lash line the waterline I'm going in with Tarte my skinny smolder eyeliner in onyx any black that you have will do I don't think they make this liner anymore but anyway moving Moving on we're gonna go ahead and use this Tarte mascara I'm applying just a little bit on the upper lashes just to blend my real lashes with the falsies and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply a good coat to my lower lashes and then last but not least I'm gonna go ahead and just tight line my upper waterline a little bit I felt after doing this whole thing god that's such a horrible horrible oh my gosh when my eyes roll like that it just made me cringe so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that just to make sure that there's no line on the upper waterline and it'll just create you know just complete the whole look I really think 
Now for lips, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Whirl by MAC. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. For lipstick, I'm taking Kat Von D Lolita. I thought I wanted to do a really nice warm color, but I just thought that this color was a little bit off. So after putting down Lolita, I'm then gonna go in with my Jouer lipstick in the shade Buff. It's one of my favorites. It's a really nice nude color, and I feel like it's like perfect topped on any kind of dark shadow, and dark, dark shadow, dark lipstick, and it just really creates any kind of nude that you're looking for. So applying that on the lips, I am gonna go back with Whirl just to find my lips a little bit more. And then for lip gloss, I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Gloss in So Cute. And after that, your look is complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure you get a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. I really love the way this look turned out. And as you can see, I'm exhausted from blending, exhausted. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you like this look and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.